good morning beautiful people today i have a quick little tip on how to kind of keep your pumpkin vines in check especially if you have a small contained area like i do uh, as i said this is growing on my line so i like half of my line space is taken up by this fine which i don't mind i'm not complaining so i do however want to let you guys know that you can prune your pumpkin vines believe it or not so what i do is when i see a vine going crazy like this one getting over here on my babies i start from the tip and i thoroughly inspect it if i see any type of female babies on it and you can spot the female babies very early and i'll show you on another vine a very young female baby so i'm just seeing males here on this vine this is a male male so the male one are just gonna be flowers they don't have any fruit at the base so these are all veined males so i don't need this vine to be taken over so i'm gonna get rid of this one so what i do i follow it back to the main vine keep my eyes on it can i just use my finger and carry it through And follow it until I find where it's coming from so it has come from here from this main vine so this is the main vine and this is where this vine came from so I'm gonna cut this and remove this entire vine here so all of this is gonna go right um, I'm gonna show you guys a next vine that is coming that I'm gonna allow to stay and I'm gonna show you the reason why no I'm gonna try and be as gentle as possible you guys see that little female baby right there you can literally see let me focus back you can literally see the little pumpkin there so I'm not gonna trouble this vine because this vine has a female on it I have this one coming as well with a female so I'm gonna leave this fine let me see if there's any other females at the tip just males but you can see clearly this is a female and of course there is the one that I spoke about the bigger one yeah so that is how I prune my vines guys if I also see a young vine like this I would just remove it just to keep it under control um, see another vine here branching out that I may remove I'm gonna look because fine it's kind of useless so this is just taking up energy from the plant and of course space and i have limited space so i have to prune my pumpkin vine so you guys can try that trick and let me know how that works out for you all right have a wonderful day guys bless bye so beautiful people it has been probably about five days since i did the first pruning video and i want to just show you guys an update um since then i have had the two pumpkins open so this one i pollinated yesterday and this one down here was pollinated probably like two days before so I know pollination was successful because they're already swelling up and growing what I'm going to do is still go in do some more pruning because since the rain this vine has really taken off and I'm getting a lot of shoots so the main vine here has sent out this shoot and I'm not seeing any females on it so I'm going to clip this one so 
so I'm just gonna clip away this vine here and this vine down here also has another offshoot so it's the main vine and this shoot comes here and I'm going to remove it as well and I'm hoping there is no female on it I'm not seeing anything just seen males so I'm going to remove this one as well and that's how I go through and prune my vines I'm gonna look through when the camera is off if I see anything else but you guys can okay here's another one main vine here and this offshoot is here let me just look if I see any female on it and I'm not seeing any so I'm gonna get rid of this one and this is really as I said if you don't have the space I have limited space so I don't want the vines to take over so I'm just working with what has female fruits on it so you guys can do it as well so I'll keep you guys up to date with my other two babies on the way and I will do another update video soon so I'll see you guys around okay bye so guys I know I said bye in the first video but I think I'm just gonna end this video with me showing you how I make my pumpkin hammock because this guy is not ready for a hammock um, let me show you how the other one looks so this is the other one currently and it was the same hammock that was further down for the first pumpkin that I harvest same hammock I just slide come down this side and I'm just going to show you guys how I make my hammock it's pretty easy but I say I'm going to share the same way so this is the current hammock for the first one now let's go back down here And I'm going to set up my camera so you guys can see how I do this. Alright, I'm going to set it up right here. Alright, soon come back. Alright, so this is the bags that I always use. Big up yourself, True Juice. And I basically just get these orange bags and I remove the top part right here so I cut all the way across all right and then I cut all the way down one is gonna be here right there let me kind of move this so one is gonna be here and one is gonna be here or a little bit further down off camera so let me tie this one first and this is all I do guys find a cute position comfy position for it and then 
now I measure it to ensure that it's fine. Maybe I put it here. this with a mesh type material because I remember I tried it once same vine but from the original vine and can you believe it the pumpkin was bigger than this and rain fell for a good amount of time and because the water was free flowing underneath it it created like a pocket of water under the pumpkin and then when I lift up the pumpkin underneath it crack and mushy and so all this time when it was falling the water been gathering so I would not recommend using a thick material or a material that doesn't drain well so if you don't have a mesh like this use a netting maybe like a stocking would be good as well so and this is how I do it so hope you guys saw that here it is this is how I do it and now the pumpkin will have a nice area to take some of the weight off of it and grow so thanks for watching guys this is a final update for this video and bless up yourself if you have any questions or you know anything regarding vertical growing it vertically you can always comment below but this is how I make my hammock so that the pumpkin them can relax vertically anyways have a great Sunday guys Makana Beach before curfew bye